Good afternoon, I'm Odalis Suarez. And I'm Talar Alexanian, both bringing you CVTV Broadcasting straight from the source. This Sunday, March 2nd, will be a huge celebration as Montrose is having their 95th birthday celebration. Not only will Montrose be celebrating its birthday, but also its new official title as Glendale's official Old Town. The celebration will take place along Honolulu Avenue from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And to add to the cherry on top of the celebration cake, Robin Goldsworthy, the editor of the Crescent Valley Sun newspaper, will be receiving the Humanitarian Award for her performance of charitable and civic works. In sports news, the CV Boys basketball team lost a close one with 60-57 to to Valencia during a CIF game. Coach Sean Zargarian was happy with the effort and hard work of the team, and especially with Clay Sierra and Eric Stranges. The season's over for now, but there's always next year. In other sports news, the girls' water polo team at Crescent Valley High School unfortunately lost their CIF game against Rio Mesa. Even so, they had a very successful season, and we wish them the best next year. In interesting news, there has been a notice of a public hearing to authorize the installation of the Wallace Telecommunications Facility on an existing commercial building. This installation will be located at 2540 Foothill Boulevard in the incorporated community of La Crescenta and Montrose in the Montrose Zone District. This new object is a health risk that could cause cancer and other health-related issues. The hearing concerning this land use proposal will be on Tuesday, March 4th at 9 a.m. in room 150 of the Hall of Records, 320 West Temple Street, Los Angeles, California, 90012. It's been feeling a little like summer lately, so let's take a look at what Arami has in store for us in our five-day forecast. Arami? Thanks, guys. Well, although today was a bit on the cloudy side, the temperature was quite warm, and that's just a start since our next five days will be sunny and warm. The next five days will be in the low 70s, with the highest at 73 and the lowest at 70. Sunday, although it will be warm, will have quite a bit of wind. So hopefully this weekend you'll take advantage of the beautiful weather and this warm springtime warmth. Thanks, Rami. In other news, this upcoming Saturday, March 1st, the event entitled Paint the Town Purple will be taking place. Hosted by the American Cancer Society, it will promote people to participate in the Relay for Life on May 17th. Volunteers should meet at Rocky Cola Cafe between the hours of 7.30 and 8 a.m. They will be decorating the windows and trees between Verdugo and Ocean View until 10 a.m. Volunteers will be awarded community service hours, and for more information, you can visit their website at http teensfc.googlepages.com. home Glendale has recently endorsed the Rim of the Valley Study, which is a res resolution endorsing the legislation which calls for a study of establishing a Rim of the Valley Nature Corridor as part of the Santa Monica Mountains National Recreation Area. A report prepared by Glendale Trails consultant Jay Weinstein and environmental activist Mark Sturdivant explains that the entire rim of the valley corridor includes 645,268 acres, more than that, 190,000 of it within the Angeles National Forest. This study would look to protecting wildlife, establishing connectors to the rim trail system, and preserve recreation opportunities and access to open space. La Crescenta might be shaking up, and it's not because of the cold weather, but because of a possible earthquake hitting our way. A town hall meeting was held to prepare area residents for the next earthquake or any other natural disaster, which was presented on Monday, February 25th, in the auditorium at Crescenta Valley High School. Monday's event included speakers from the CV Sheriff Station, LA County Fire Station 63, Glendale Fire Stations 28 and 29, the American Red Cross, Southern California Gas Co., Crescenta Valley Water District, and Southern California Edison. In addition to taking precaution, precautious measures, they have already established a local community emergency response team, also known as CERT, which will also provide classes scheduled on March 1st and March 29th. 
to assure Crescenta Valley inhabitants are guaranteed safety and a pleasant transition through any natural disaster, it is vital that we must all cooperate, cooperate and as volunteer of the Crescenta Valley Sheriff Station, Paul Dutton said, quote, it's essential that we get prepared because we're long overdue for a major earthquake. We had some time ago reported that La Crescenta is planning to establish a local dog park. We have just heard that recently the town council representatives gave a brief report on the progress on this proposed dog park on February 7th. They hope to select the Eagle Debris Basin site. And if selected, the park would be, quote, the dirt area between the wash and the restrooms at the park, as stated by town councilman Bruce Campbell. This idea came from one individual last fall who gathered 1,000 signatures of residents who believe the area needs a dog park. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We would like to thank the Crescent Valley Sun for providing news stories to make this program possible. If you have any comments, please don't hesitate to give us a call or email us at the contact info that will be posted at the end of this program. We wish you all the best this weekend. And have a good night. Well, the weather has been acting up again.